Zo Chana stole the hearts of many in the pageant when she became Miss Sundowns. Since winning the competition, she's been tirelessly attending the events that come with being crowned. Life after being crowned as Miss Mamelodi Sundowns has absolutely been amazing and definitely life-changing. I mean, not only did I get to move provinces, because now I'm here in Gauteng so that I can make sure that I'm doing my responsibilities to the best of my ability, so many doors continue to open for me on a daily basis. I mean, here I am on Love PSL. You know, the responsibilities that come with being a face of a football club are mainly football related, which is something that exposes you so much. I mean, on a weekly, I'm attending so many events where I'm getting to meet soccer legends and people who not only are soccer legends, but are making a difference in their communities. So I'm getting the opportunity to not only be helping within the Mamelodi Sundowns organizations, but to also be networking and meeting various people who are doing great things for South Africa. Our Missionaries ladies, we teach them, uh, you know, to do great initiatives in their communities, but we also teach them um, how to be leaders. You know, I'm very happy that uh, uh, Tulani right now, who's uh, the kind Miss, uh, Miss Sundowns, uh, wants to be president one day. I stand here as a 19-year-old girl who's aspiring to be president in the year 2044. And for me as a young person who's aspiring to be South African president in the year 2044, when I become president in the year 2044. President in the year 2044. I started wanting to be president, I think I was about grade four or five when it really became, I'm no longer saying it to say it, but I do think that I have the ability to do so. And my manifesto for being president is always something simple. It's starts by giving back and that's what I want to do. I want to pioneer change for all South Africans. As a Sundown supporter who's been with the team through its highs and lows, Bully was excited to hang out with the new Sundowns Queen. So today we're taking uh, Tulane in Zojana and the supporter Bully James to bridge the gap. So today is all about ladies and that's one of the ways again where we're bridging the gap between our supporter, female supporters and Miss Sundown so they understand what exactly it's about. One of my favourite duties about being Miss Sundown, it's not a duty actually, one of my favourite parts is meeting our supporters because our supporters have so much love. Willie is absolutely amazing, she is a Sundown supporter to the core and she's known as the Queen of Russia as well, you know she likes to dance for us. I've got amazing love for Sundowns. I've got amazing love with Sundowns, hey. And, you know, sometimes I don't eat, you know. If I go to the stadium, I'll wake up and I'm going to have a breakfast only. If we're playing a game, I'm going to have a breakfast only. I'm going to eat when I come back, you know, because I've got excitement. I love Sundowns. Sundowns is my life. Tulani is also a hardcore fitness fanatic and she thought it would be a great idea to take Bully through her fitness routine with her personal trainer, Jay. Let's see if Bully was able to keep up. You know, I'm someone who's always enjoyed sports. So I remember there was a time in high school where I played both hockey and netball. And when I did stop sport, when I started being at varsity last year, I made sure that I gymmed. And today you got to see a bit of my workout with Jay, who's absolutely awesome. Basically, we did a full body um, exercise. So we started with the bigger muscle groups, which is the legs, of course, you know. Uh, we started with a stretching, because it's always important to stretch, and then warm up to get the, the, the blood flowing perfectly through the body to the muscles. And then we proceeded to, to squats. It's the baddest boys when it comes to, to leg exercises. It's my first time doing that. Hey, it was really difficult for squatting. I don't want to lie to you, that was very difficult for me to go down. But Vosho, the funny part, you know, because remember Vosho, there's that song, Oh Munye, then you can go down nicely, you know? And then those, you know, it was hard for me. Yo, it was hard, I don't want to lie to you. This was not so intense, this was okay, you know? Uh, because I didn't know the, the, the fitness levels of the people I was dealing with, so I, I couldn't really kill them at the first session, you know? But if they were to come to me again, I now know what I'm working with and I can, um, play around with that you know. I think she'll have a few tips now with what to do when she's at home and the great thing as well is she could punch eh? like don't mess with that girl I think she knows how to punch so it was really fun. I really enjoyed the whole other sessions I really enjoyed and uh, I've learned that in future I must, just, I'm, I must join the gym and I'll do this you know this exercise and exercise and become fit. 
As expected, Bully is pleased with Sundown's performance and believes that the team has what it takes to stay at the top of the league until the very end. We are number one and uh, I don't see us anyone removing us from that position and uh, I believe in our boys. We've got a good squad, you know, our squad is great, you cannot just choose that who's going to score, who's not going to score, you know. We've got a team that works together, they work together and then, you know, we've got a good coach, technical team is very good. I'm truly, truly excited for us to win the league eighth time. So I'm truly impressed with the team and I wish them nothing but the best. We're going to be the champions of PSL. I know God is on our side. God loves sundowns. God loves sundowns. That one cannot change. Ekabana, ekabana, asozuabo. Ekabana, masanta wana, asozuabo.